Welcome to the installation, commissioning and operation guide of the NVF5 series variable frequency drives. Before we begin, disconnect the power supply, wear insulating gloves and protective goggles. The necessary tools include an electric screwdriver, wire strippers, wire crimping pliers, wires of appropriate specifications, twisted pair shielded wires, screwdrivers, and insulating gloves. High voltage hazard inside. Do not open the enclosure within 5 minutes of disconnecting power. For the connection of the VFD with other devices, refer to the figure. Secure it at an appropriate position inside the cabinet. Flip open the cover plate. First, use the wire strippers to strip off the outer insulation of the copper wire connected to the relay, exposing 9 to 11 millimeters. Ensure an appropriate length of bare copper wire. Take out the prepared wire, press down the top of the terminal interface, insert the wire, and release the top to complete the terminal wiring. AI1 and AI2 are analog input terminals, with a common terminal GND. The analog input terminals can be configured for V voltage type or current type via I1 and V1. 485 positive and 485 negative terminals support Modbus protocol. AO is the analog output terminal with a common terminal GND. Voltage and current can be switched through the jumper switch on the control board. VR1A and R1B are normal open contact groups. The protection terminal must be reliably. R1A, R1B, R1C are relay contact outputs. Taking the main circuit wiring as an example, RST connects to the 380 volts power supply, and UVW connects to the motor. If an external braking resistor is required, connect the P and B terminals. When an external braking resistor is connected, avoid a direct connection to the DC bus as this may damage the VFD and even cause a fire. The protection terminal must be reliably. After verifying the correct wiring and its consistent voltage, power on for 1 to 2 seconds to display 5.00 Hz on VFD. The above provides an overview of VFD installation and wiring. For more information, please visit our official website or get in touch with our local representatives for assistance.